Were you, were you looking at the camera? We're good to go? Am I looking at the camera? I've been watching a lot of The Office lately, so... I washed my hair extra, for you. You don't need that extra stuff. I washed my hair for you. It's just easy to say, because it's like, you know, how you truly feel about it. It's just, you just basically... How do ambassadors make a bartender's life easier? The, the level of education that they, they bring. Um, it's a hell of a lot easier to have someone who's uh, that knowledgeable come in, train staff, actually come in and speak about the product. It actually helps uh, the staff make a connection with the, uh, the actual product. I like that. It certainly helps when, uh, when you trust them and they uh, know what the hell they're talking about. That's a big thing. It's, it's, it's a, a more personal touch with the brand, like letting us know the people behind the brands and why this process of distillation is used and why these methods, why the history is connected with the people. And by that, I can recreate and tell the story of that particular brand in that particular cocktail for the guests to enjoy as well. So it's just like a circular um, contribution to making a better experience. So they make my job better by um, allowing me to know a lot more about the products in the depth that I couldn't in just regular research. I think ambassadors make our lives easier in lots of ways. Certainly uh, education and learning more about the product. A lot of the time I could be, could run out of a product. I can say, hey Dave, go get me some, some Lot 40. I, I'm pretty much out, which I almost did the other day, but fortunately we have an LCBO next to us. You know, I always think of bartenders as the key to a city. Um, if you want something, if you're new to a city and you want to get to know a city, you go to a bartender and they'll hook you up. For me, the brand ambassadors are the key to the national and the international markets. So if I'm going to New York or Denver or BC, I know someone who already has a hookup for me. I mean, you were just in New York yeah. and... Yeah, I got looked after in New York <laughs> yeah. from our brand ambassadors for sure. <laughs> so. You know, as a bartender knows their city, a brand ambassador, if they don't know the city, at least they know someone to go to. So it's nice to have a connection as a bartender. I mean, we're not used to waiting in line. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So that international and national connection is, you know, something that not all of us can get on our own. So it's, you know, anytime you walk into a city, you have the keys to the city, thanks to your ambassador. Yeah, you know, for me, it's uh, also about the education, the training, and they also have the inside scoop yes. onto what other bartenders are doing. Yeah. I mean, um, if you compete or judge in a cocktail competition, the different things you learn just by people pushing the envelope, now times that by 10, 20, 30, when you have the whole wealth of knowledge. So from new techniques to pour in, new little tricks, new infusions, new anything, um, the brand ambassadors for me at the first and cutting edge of all of those scenes. Sure. So they're the ones that see it the first yeah. and I guarantee that someone in, you know, point A sees something, they're going to text it to head office and then that gets, you know, yeah, for sure. dispersed. And then yeah. everyone loves playing with a new technique or new tool. Definitely. Especially when you're traveling around the world so much, you get to see things that are happening in the U.S. that we might not get to see and you can always bring that back to us. And, say, yeah. and then cocktail trends are no longer just local but yeah. international. Like if something really cool happens in Japan, we have instant access to it now, yeah. which we never had before. Yeah. Not even five years ago, we didn't have that. No. Brand ambassadors help make bartenders better their jobs purely because of the education and their product knowledge of what they're selling. Then stems to the bartender, which is going to the customer as well, which makes the bartender itself better at his job when they're pushing their product. How do ambassadors influence the bartender's decision to pour their brands? I think the ambassadors influence our decision to pour their brands mainly because we build such strong or you guys build such strong relationships with us. So not only do we become loyal to the brand, but we become loyal to you guys. And we we want to push your product, we want it to do be successful and do well. You know, I think having a face that you recognize with the brand goes a long way, yeah. especially if that face is very present at your bar. The influence they have on bartenders to make sure they're pouring their product as their presence in their venue of work. If they come by and visit, we're constantly always going to be make sure they're on display, they're in, like, our team will be pouring their products purely because they're, they're right. So when we had uh, Sebastian come in and order some, uh, he ordered a gimlet, and I think 
I think in my mind, I was like, oh, he's the beef eater ambassador, so I'm going to make a beef eater gimlet, even though I use Plymouth a lot of the time. And he gave me the whole history on how Plymouth was used in the original gimlets, and Plymouth should always be in a gimlet. So it's it's education and learning, and, and ambassadors certainly have a lot of information to give. You know, the brand ambassadors look after us in such a way that we, you know, you want to show off what you're proud of. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, for me, at the end of the day, it's the higher ups that make the business decisions uh, as to what's on the rail, what's being poured, but the bartenders are really the ones who influence the customers and the yeah. brand ambassadors are the ones that influence the bartenders. Exactly. How do uh, ambassadors get uh, brands onto cocktail lists? Uh, I think that we really sort of choose the, the brands that we're putting on by what suits the cocktail best. Uh, the brand ambassadors come in and they provide us with knowledge on the brands. Uh, which help give us ideas and help us use them in, in cocktails. Sort of expand our horizons as to why brands are the way they are and the history behind it. And uh, just little details like, for example, beef eater uh, herbs are weighed in this like one little way in the one distillery. And it's that stuff is really cool and we can translate that into the story we want to create our drinks and by that give guests a better understanding of why we put spirits in the certain cocktails. So the brand ambassador helps that solidify that relationship between brand and bar and cocktails. So it's definitely a good little cement. You know, I think the first start is to get the brands on the rail. Those are our high volume markets there. That's where we sell the most of. Um, and then I think for us, it's getting the bartenders to fall in love with the brand. Yeah, definitely. You know, I think that the more you know about a brand, the more you're inclined to use it. So, uh, we went to the Hiram Walker Distillery this year, which was amazing. Oh, it was amazing, yeah. You got to, we just got to learn about everything from like the beginning to the end of the whiskey process, which was great. And yeah, you came back and you were just so excited to tell people, play around with the product. Like. Well, not only that, at that point we were more familiar with the flavor profiles of everything. I mean, Dr. Don and Dave were great with it. And I know that when I went to Sweden, being able to talk to the distillers there and the blenders and, and everyone who makes the product and getting that kind of feeding off their enthusiasm. Yeah, so I think that once we have it on the rail, it's another tool in our arsenal to play with. So N is the most familiar tool. It is literally your position one, two, three with yeah. that with the hand. So when someone asks me for a whiskey cocktail, that's the first whiskey that I grab for, for. Sure. or the first rum, or the first vodka, gin, whatever. And then you know you you build on those flavors that you become more fla er, more familiar with. Yeah. yeah, definitely. How do ambassadors deliver on the business needs of our customers? Certainly, when uh, products are needed in a very urgent manner, or products are needed um, outside of a normal ordering schedule, brand ambassadors help expedite that process, which is fantastic. What, what I really appreciate about uh, about brand ambassadors and how they help with my business needs is that um, you know I, I know I can count on them if, if uh, a product needs to be sourced, if, if there's a dwindling supply of something, <clears throat> something's running out of the LCBO, I know that we don't have to uh, interrupt our program because they're out there sourcing everything, pulling stuff from different stores, and that's a hell of a lot easier than us having to do it ourselves, because we have a lot of stuff going on. You know, the fact that they're out willing to uh, uh, you know, source product, and source rare products for us, that uh, is something that could actually set us apart from other restaurants. It's, it's a real, uh, real bonus. On, on a really important level for that particular question, like how Ambassador helps uh, a bar business or restaurant businesses, um, I think using their media and their, their relation with the rest of the industry is probably the most important resource. An ambassador that's really plugged into the rest of the bars and the rest of the bartenders um, can carry the name of a bar you know, further um, through their own social medias, through plugging in and saying that they were there. Um, and then, of course, provision of product and all that stuff, supporting uh, great events like charities and uh, raffles and, um, you know, big like, anniversary nights, things like that, being present and being here. And, you know, really, it's great to say an ambassador can alleviate costs, but that's for, for people that, like, we don't personally care about that kind of stuff. It's great that an ambassador is willing to do that kind of 
thing for, for the business, but it's great that they're here and that they just want to take part and, and, and lock in and, and be a presence. Um, everything else is, is fantastic and it's always appreciated, you know, but having that face here, it means so much uh, to everyone. So how does a Corby brand ambassador team change the bartender's perception of Corby as a supplier? Do bars choose to partner with Corby as opposed to Yajo Bacardi? I mean, we're not talking about this, like this is a big question. It is. Uh, I think that the Corby brand ambassadors uh, are, they're all, you guys are all pretty great. Um, a lot of people coming from a bartending background. So going to the cocktail bartending, Corby was a brand that immediately was one that was associated with a lot of bars that I worked at. And I think what sets Corby's apart is that Corby is was very smart about who they chose to be their ambassadors. You can choose somebody that's good with numbers. And you can choose somebody that's great with sales. But are you going to choose somebody that is human and has that human connection with people in the industry? Someone that can spread the word and the name of your brand far and do it with conviction and do it also with you know, people look at that person and see them as someone they can believe in because they know them over the years. Selecting yourself, selecting, you know, all the other Corby brand ambassadors. You look at Dave, you look at, you know, just, just look at everybody that you guys have chosen. Your team is insane. Like every, you guys know everyone that's in the industry. So you're able to build up on that and you have an open door, open door invitation to a lot of bars. Of your association, so yeah, I definitely think that the brand ambassador from Corby's or Bruno Ricard has a uh, huge influence as to why we carry their products. First off, a brand ambassador has to be extremely approachable and uh, available for bartenders to kind of go to in terms of questions and availability of products and whatnot. And I find that uh, Bruno Ricard and Corby's has assembled a very good team of brand ambassadors, somebody who's representative of their brand um, and pays attention to every detail that the brand uh, carries. So yeah, for sure. I mean, the reason why we carry a lot of Corey's and Pernod Ricard products is because of the approachability of those brand ambassadors. And having a really awesome girl and a really awesome guy definitely helps, but also the depth of knowledge and the care and the dedication to their products is uh, yeah, a huge thing as to why I carry them. I think the brand ambassador team is just kind of an example of how much support Corby's gives us as a bar or as a corporation. Yeah, you know, I think that uh, first and foremost, you have to have a great product. Without the great product, it doesn't matter how cool everything and all the marketing. I think we've seen a lot of examples of that. Um, for me, I always think of a bottle of booze like a prom date. All right, there's so many things that go into making this prom date the best and the brand ambassador is the dress and the limo on top of it. So you're already committed, you've already asked this person out to prom because you know their parents raised them right, they were grown to be an amazing person, and then it's the brand ambassadors that make it cool and make it a spectacular night. Yeah, that's a great analogy. <laughs> I've gone to a lot of proms. <laughs> but no, no I, I, think, I think what it is is that for business reasons, you choose a product. Yeah. Now, to maintain that level of service, that's what the brand ambassadors do. Yeah. They make you continually excited about a business deal yeah. made from two higher ups. Having a, a, a quality brand ambassador is crucial for a company like Corby because when it comes down to it, yes, the products are amazing, um, but the the relationships that you build are, are, are paramount for, uh, you know, for a business like this and for a bar, a restaurant. It'll that, last a lifetime. Yeah, it'll last a lifetime. And, you know, I, I've been with Corby for as long as I can remember. I've never been with another company. And that is solely, primarily, because of the relationships that I've had with the, uh, the brand ambassadors. Yeah, because they're just present and they're always in around. Like, you guys are always around us. Like, every week you're in around the restaurant. So, of course, we're going to repay you guys coming to visit us by making sure we're pouring your product. Uh, and I like all the Corby reps, so. Uh, and they're there a lot. Like, I see one of you guys, you know, once a week for the most part, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't seen a, I haven't seen a Diageo rep. Well, we're pretty clearly a Corby, I mean, but I haven't, I haven't seen a Diageo rep here. Have you ever, though? 
Uh, and I'm not. I'm saying that as Dave. No, right now, not as a cheeky. Not, not guy. really. Like the the works when they took over, they came in and they wanted to do some stuff with me. Of course, like I've done because through the tastings. Yeah. Yes. At DGS, I've done a Diageo tasting every year, so I see them then. But you guys, like, really, like, you get out there. To, to take it on that, to cut it out, but like just to finish on it, I think at the end of the day, I think what Corby's has done is they've selected the right people that have the right relationships with people in the industry to be able to deliver on their brands and to be able to create a relationship that increases not only their brand's numbers, but also their representation within the industry. A lot of brand ambassadors don't deliver on that because they don't know anybody. And not knowing anybody it can be, you know, the first step to the end. Having a brand ambassador that knows everybody is great. I think Corby's done that myself. So. Yeah. I said that. Okay. Yeah. That means that you made it that easy. Can I uh, buy these rounds that we just had? Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> 